you, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, they've given me three minutes to try to cram two hard years of work with our group in, in pulling this thing together, but uh, I'm very, very uh, pleased to welcome you to something that uh, we think is really special. It's the launch of Eco Village, named Eco Village at Dunedin. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you some highlights as to what this project is all about. First of all, Eco Village is so very special because it truly is the first multi-family uh, net zero energy green community in the entire nation. And we're confident that uh, what we're going to do here on this property that you're standing on will uh, be the leading edge uh, going forward in respect to uh, the design and development of affordable workforce housing. This lot you're standing on right here, going all the way up to Martin Luther King Boulevard, will contain uh, four five-unit buildings that each of the five units will be five townhomes in a unit. In the property immediately over here to our north, there will be an additional building, so we will have 25, uh, uh, 25 uh, affordable townhome units, and we call it a pocket neighborhood. In the next few months, we're going to have 25 happy homeowners that will be living in homes here on this property that will be third-party LEED certified green. We have high hopes to shoot for platinum. We hope we can get there, but certainly they'll be LEED certified, which assures the homeowner, as you probably all know, we're familiar with LEED, a healthier and ha healthier and uh, safer and a more sustainable lifestyle. But also, it should be pointed out that each homeowner will benefit from being able to live in their home without paying an electric bill. I think that's pretty significant today. Their electric bill will be at zero if they live reasonable lifestyle. Now, I'm not telling you if you leave, let your kids leave the sliding glass doors open all day in the August, you'll probably get an electric bill. But if you live a responsible lifestyle, it's net zero, and net zero will be accomplished. And how is net zero accomplished? <laughs> I, I had dreams of saying that beautiful sun up there, well, we don't have it today, but what we're going to do is we harness the sun's energy, which is the most abundant resource known to man, energy resource, and we go ahead and we power these homes with the sun through the solar system that we will provide with the homes. What is net zero? It's simply that the homes uh, will basically produce more energy than they consume on an annual basis. What happens is during the day, abundant sunshine here in Florida, the excess energy is sent back to the grid for a credit on the electric bill. At night, when there's no sun or on a cloudy day like today, you're not producing as much energy, the home will draw from the grid. The net zero means that in a 12-month period, heck, you, in Florida, you end up with no electric bill and you probably will have a credit. So that hasn't been done in multifamily affordable townhomes in the United States today. This sets the standard, what we're going to do here at Eco Village. Of course, there's many other uh, 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 energy efficient features that are included in these Eco Village homes that enhance the ability for these homes to perform as we advertise. A, we have a high performance HVAC system, we have solar water heating, we have energy smart appliances, we have LED lighting, and we have an energy management system that you'll be hearing about uh, soon. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about what, what these homes are going to be. Number one, they're going to range in size from 1,100 square feet to 1,500 square feet. They're going to be two, and, two uh, bedrooms, uh, one and a half baths, up to three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Uh, the targeted selling price for these homes is going to be between $135,000 and $175,000. The down payment, get this, today with FHA mortgages the way they are, five to six thousand dollars down and six to nine hundred dollars a month will move you into a home heck i don't know many people that rent cheaper than that so we also will be able to provide a federal tax credit to each of the people who buy these homes and the homeowner will go ahead and basically be able to offset his down payment with the federal tax credit so you really the net effect is that you have really no down payment you really put money in your pocket at the end of the day each home will have a garage and a private courtyard, and I can't emphasize enough that no electric bill. Now, 
We've been on a two-year journey. Everybody says to me, boy, are you lucky. You guys at Planet Green, how'd you do that? You were lucky. Well, if you'd have followed us around for the past two and a half years, you would have realized this isn't luck. It's a lot of hard work by a lot of people. And a lot of people need to be thanked. And we at Planet Green would like to give special thanks to the city of Dunedin's planning and engineering department, headed up by Bob Ironside and Lael Geibel and Greg Rice, and also the Pinellas County Housing Finance Authority, which is led by Frank Bowman and Armanda Lampley, because these people provided a lot of visionary and out-of-the-box thinking that really uh, allowed us to be standing here today. Without this, the really solid public-private partnership, which is rare these days, we would we just this thing would have never been a reality, but we made it. And thanks to you guys for allowing this uh, this to happen. Now, let me tell you some good news. People say we got a housing crisis that nobody's buying houses in this in this area. Well, I want to tell you something. We haven't even started a marketing campaign. We sent out an email blast to some of what I like to call our hometown heroes. We sent it out to the teachers in Pinellas County. We sent it out to hospital workers. We sent it out to Dun Dunedin City workers, and we got responses. Pleased to tell you there's 25 homes going to be here. As of the close of business last night, we have 91 reservations of people who have expressed interest in buying 25 homes. So, let that be a lesson to everybody in the city and the county that, hey, people need affordable housing that is for our workforces and we ought to take the initiative to find additional properties similar to what you're seeing here so that we can go ahead and fill there's going to be a lot of disappointed people in these 91 because 25 people are going to go ahead and have the privilege of, of moving moving in here now we what you don't see here you don't see our elevations and you see their proposed floor plans, and that's because we're going right now through the process with the city of Dunedin to get our elevations approved so that they do fit within the Dunedin architectural engineering plans. But we expect within the next 30 days or so to be able to announce what, the, what this project is gonna physically look like, and we also will go ahead and let the, the 91 buyers know, here's what you've got that you'll be able to go ahead and uh, we'll start the process of getting you approved if you want to buy it. We're going to have to have some type of a lottery system, everybody. We can't, we can't give special uh, privileges to any of these 91 people. It's going to be, hey, we're going to get them qualified and we're going to have some type of a fair, open to the public selection process for the 25 people who are fortunate enough to be able to come in here. Finally, I'd, uh, I'd like to make an announcement that uh, the Planet Green Group, uh, we feel that we have a responsibility to be socially engaged, that we have a civic uh, duty to be involved in the communities in which we work. Uh, and uh, to this end, uh, I'm pleased to announce that we have committed to provide, through this project alone, 10 college scholarships to at-risk kids here in the Dunedin School District. And we're gonna do that through the Take Stock for Children's Doorways program, where we'll partner up with the Pinellas Education Foundation, but 10 kids a minimum, because we're gonna reach out to others to try to help support our initiative to go ahead and provide these college scholarships. So we think uh, uh, we're excited about that. All right, one more minute. We have to go ahead and acknowledge the contributions made because there's some very hardworking people that have uh, taken on the challenge. For example, a local architectural firm by the name of Mesh. Mesh has taken on the challenge to design a net zero energy community that is not just net zero energy efficient, but also is green and LEED certified. This just hasn't been done very often, and I'll say it's never been done, and these guys have taken on this challenge, and, the, and thanks to Tim and Joe and Gary for all their hard work. In addition, we've got partners that I need to acknowledge, like Carrier Corporation. Carrier will provide the uh, high-performance HVAC systems through their local distributor, Air Quality Control. We thank Larry and Joe Rent, Rent uh, for their contribution and their support of our program. 
Costantino is a uh, is a firm that provides quartz countertop surfaces, quartz. Whether some of you know that's green, you get lead points for quartz countertops. They're beautiful countertops, and through their local distributor, John Caney at Pavimento. Today, uh, we are pleased to announce that we have a new partner in in our business called Eco Construction and Maintenance. They're an Orlando-based firm who have become in and joined Planet Green as a partner, and they'll provide con green construction-related services. I am pleased that yesterday I received a letter, or we received a letter from Algatech. Algatech is a German solar panel manufacturer. They are moving their production operations here to Pinellas County to provide solar panels for the U.S. market. These are not Chinese solar panels, and these are not... factory already in containers ready to head this way and they're going to go ahead and, and uh, put a facility here that's going to employ workers here to make solar panels so I got the letter of commitment from them yesterday and they're a partner here with us on this project